let's review the fundamentals of once and IP with questions and answers part one. Let's get started with the first question. When Cisco Skills PC1 send an IP packet to Cisco Skill PC2, which of the followings are true? To send an IP packet to PC2, PC1 first need to encapsulate the IP packet into an Ethernet frame and send it to Router1. When Router1 receives the Ethernet frame, it will de-encapsulate it to get the IP packet and encapsulate the IP packet into an HDLC frame and send it to Router2. When Router2 receive the HDLC frame, it will de-encapsulate it to get the IP packet and then encapsulate the IP packet into an Ethernet frame and send it to PC2. Now, let's review the answers. Cisco skills are once chip off the header and the trailer of the Ethernet frame from Cisco skill switch 1 and encapsulates it inside HDLC frame and send to Cisco skills R2. This answer is not correct because the Ethernet frame is not from Cisco skill switch 1, it's from Cisco skill PC1. Cisco skill R1 strip off the header and trailer of the Ethernet frame from Cisco skill PC1 and never use this again. This answer is correct. Cisco skill R2 extracts the IP packet from HDLC frame then encapsulates it inside an Ethernet frame and send it to Cisco skill switch 2. This answer is not correct because it's not sending to switch 2 ascending to PC2. Cisco skills R2 extracts the IP packet from HDLC frame then encapsulates it inside an Ethernet frame to send to Cisco skills PC2. So this answer is correct. So the final answers are B and D. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Network layer routing logic. Which of the following protocols allow the PC to find the MAC address of the laptop? App, SMTP, or app, DNS. So we know that app is a layer two protocol to find a MAC address associated with an IP address. So the final answer is A. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Address resolution protocol. The question is, when does a host have to send its IP packet to the default gateway? The answer or when it cannot find the MAC address of the destination host. The host always sends IP packets to its default gateway first. When the default gateway is configured with proxy app. When the IP address of the destination host is in a different subnet. When the IP address of the destination host is in the same subnet. We know that when the IP address of the destination host is in a different subnet, the host have to send its IP packet to the default gateway. So the answer is D. You can find the detailed explanation in the video Network Layer Routing Logics. The question read how Cisco Skills R1 processes the IP packets from Cisco Skills PC1 to Cisco Skills PC2. The keyword here is IP packets. 
When Cisco Skills R1 receives the IP package from Cisco Skills PC1, it will read the destination IP from the header of the package, then use the destination IP to search in its routing table to see if there is any matching route. If it finds a match, then it will follow the instruction in the routing entry to forward the packet. If it doesn't find a match, then it will drop the packet. Let's review the answers. Compare IP addresses of Cisco Skills PC1 with the routes in its routing table, then forward the packet if a match found. This answer is not correct because the IP addresses of Cisco Skill PC1 is the source IP address, not the destination IP address. Compare IP addresses of Cisco Skills PC2 with the routes in its routing table, then forward the packets if a match file. This answer is correct. Cisco Skills R1 just simply drops the packets since Cisco Skills PC1 and Cisco Skills PC2 are in different subnets. This answer is not correct. Cisco Skills R1 not just simply drop the packets. It will forward the packets if it finds a matching route to instruct it how to forward the packet. Cisco Skills R1 just simply forward all the packets from Cisco Skills PC1 to its neighbor router Cisco Skills R2 because they are connected via a list line. This answer is not correct because if Cisco Skills R1 doesn't find a matching route, it will drop the packets. So the final answer is B. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Network layer routing logics. The question read: The basic functions of a routing protocol are learning its local routes and the routes advertised by the neighbor routers configured with the same routing protocol. Learning static routes configured by a network engineer. Advertising known routes to its neighbors. Route Ethernet frames to destination hosts. We know that the basic function of a routing protocol are learning its local routes and the routes advertised by the neighbor routers configured with the same routing protocol and then advertising known routes to its neighbor. So the answer are A and C. You can find the detailed explanation in the video how a routing protocol works. The question read, a packet travels from Cisco Skill R1 to Cisco Skills PC2. How many different times the packet encapsulated by the data link layer when it reaches Cisco Skills PC2. So the keyword here is encapsulated. The simple rule is that a packet get encapsulated by the data link layer when it get out of a router interface and going into the wire. So we can count it is encapsulated here, here, and here. So totally it's three times. So the answer is C. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Network layer routing logics. The question read: What are the layer two protocols used in list line? HDLC. Ethernet, point to point, CDP, LLDP. We know that the layer two protocols used in list line are 
HDLC and point to point. So the answer are A and C. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. List line as a one technologies.